Kia ora. Koto katoa maloi lele. The beauty of the world is in the diversity of its people. As we count down to the final, we've seen teams today from Samoa, New Air, Fiji, Tonga, the Cook Islands, Aotearoa, New Zealand, Māori, and teams representing New Zealand, the Barbarians, and at Cavaliers level. And now, the boys' final, one of the greats of our game, Carl Tanana, in commentary for a game we're looking forward to. Yeah, kia ora tātou katoa. Tilopulava Malolele, New South Bully Vanaka. It has been a celebration of Pacific and Māori rugby, both boys and girls absolutely putting on a show for all that's come to watch here live and at home. But, gee, she's been good. It has been Halalilo Flanders howling. Hotham Tangito Higgins and Manu Lua will start for New Zealand, who come into this final four wins and one loss. The Kingdom of Tonga, perfect 5-0. Finianga no for Clark, Finianga no for the Falea Fanga brothers, Mikaele, in their starting lineup. You've got to remember these two teams matched up in pool play, and there's the Tongan Barbarians that come away with the win through their physicality, which matched up well against New Zealand Condors boys. So I'm really interested to see the adjustments, if any, the Condors have made for this final. Riley Higgins, a fantastic tournament from the young midfielder out of St. Pat Silverstream, AJ Falea Fanga. The real star of the game. Best 5 8 out of St. Peter's. Been in the first 15 since year 10. And in a COVID environment with closed borders. We talk about the diversity of people, the diversity of thought as well, of being able to come up with a way of putting on an international tournament that doesn't put pressure. On our board, it's great job, Phil Gaze and the team. As always, putting on the show, and that's what it's all for. Those trophies right there, the silverware. As the captain Noah Holtham for the New Zealand Condors looks on, we're all good to go. Last game of the day. Right, time on. AJ. Falea Fanga gets height. And it was taken by Cooper Flanders. And New Zealand immediately to the left edge. Higgins. And they change the point of attack. And there's a penalty for Tonga over the ball. Push, make the team leave. Leave where you are, where you are. Reload, good job. Reload, good job. Oh, You'll see for they have some ball players in this Tongan team. They have some power as well. Here's the pick and go. It's a good one as well. Yosefo offloads the ball, continued. But then they turn it over, they're 95 metres away. The New Zealand team and Caleb Tangitau. Down the left edge. How good. Well, the Tonga Barbarians went in down the middle of the park. It was so successful for them in the first game during pool play, but this time it's a turnover. And the shadows of their own goalposts for the New Zealand Condors. The pick and go was good, but he gets a little bit isolated. Does Finney Nunga Nofo straight over the ball? It pops out to left hand really side, and then soon as Caleb Tungatau gets there, his there ball, he only has one eye, and that's for the try light. This guy has got extreme gas. Out of Westlake Boys High School, played in the Ignite Sevens this year alongside some of the best players in the world. Terrific conversion. Played in and with some of the greats in the sevens. The Ignite sevens earlier in the year. Tangito, just a few weeks ago, actually. And he's been a big threat out wide.
good chase. Tap back. Tonga. Inside your own quarter. Tangielu at the line with a bit of footwork. Got the ball on two hands. Got the sweeper to deal with. What a return. 23 metres out. Now they shift. Looking at the left edge. Fini Anganofo on the wraparound. Fihi loses the ball for a second time. That they've been in a try scoring position. They've turned the ball over now. An inside ball. Riley Higgins. A long ball back on the inside. The lateral ball movement from the New Zealand team is outstanding. Flanders. They're up for the contest. And how about Riley Higgins? Well, he's putting his real stamp on this tournament this year, Riley Higgins. Well, two turnovers. When they've been in the 22 of New Zealand Condors, this Tonga Barbarians team. Just a loose carry. They're just so quick to turn defence into attack. The mindset of this New Zealand Condors team is something that's really stood out to me today. Well, they looked like they were going to concede tries. On two occasions, they were on the back foot. Tonga pressing hard. And Tangitao down the left edge. And now Riley Higgins, seeing that the defence was slow, reorganising, took the tap, ran at the first defender who was offside and got it done. Yes, yeah, one of the best times to attack when the def defence has given away a penalty because they're all up flat. Good heads up play there from Riley Higgins. Two converted tries to the good for New Zealand. Howling. Got it back. Sam Howling. A good tournament, this kid. He runs the cutter, a little grubber along the ground. Riley Higgins is in chase. Salmaki. Getting back and loses the ball forward. Been a perfect five and a bit minutes for the New Zealand team in the final. Yeah, three turnover for Tonga. It's something that's worked for them, but now that's something New Zealand Condors defensively have looked at up in the air. It was Manu Lelua who didn't start this game. They brought him in for his physicality and attribute shuts his head in the year. The Tonga, when they got to respect the ball a little bit more in contact, and they can ill afford to leak another try right here. Crouch. No. Sit. Hotham is immediately behind the scrum. No, you stood up. And push, now the penalty. Push. Howling. No, no. Howling. No. Manu Lilua shifts. Hala Lilua offloads the ball. Managed to keep it under control. Hala Lilua. Yeah, just a little bit. Sloppy there from New Zealand Condors team, but equally great defence from Tonga cutting down the decision making time. Of the boys with the black jerseys handling areas, that's something they just have to bring down. This Tonga Barbarians team to have any chances. It'd be a good time to score just before the half. And you know what? They got some players that can jam and do it too. Crouch. Four handling errors resulted in two tries. A Tonga, that's the bottom line. AJ, no room out wide, so forced to try his hand in the middle. Shea Clark. And Tonga on the left there, just as a good carry. Shea Clark pulls the ball in one handed. Yeah. Feeling Anganofo. And Mikaele. Misses the player out of the lovely little right foot step. Now the charge is on. Here's an opportunity for Tonga. Terrific running John. Fini Anganofo. Bringing the Tonga team back into the contest. With a lovely solo try. They just got caught short in the middle there. The New Zealand Condors defensively. And this guy, well, he's been brilliant all day. For the New Zealand Tong Tongan Barbarians team. Look at him here. Knows there's no inside help. 
uses his footwork and he's got a lot of gas to him. just a little bit of deception with a little goosey so to give him that little bit more space and Tonga back in this match with the conversion thrilling first seven minutes New Zealand 14-7 at half time over the Tongan Barbarians and one loss in the tournament today. Their only loss being to their opponents in the final, final Tonga. But they certainly started with all the momentum. New Zealand to lead by seven. And Tonga, well, they've been the best team here so far today. Yeah, well, I believe we can do it, boys. Yeah, off this kickoff. Yo, let's get it. Jesus, please. Yeah, we got the effort, boys. Well, there's the spice you got to put on it. I love it. They don't sit there anywhere else in the world. Nah, they're enjoying themselves. <laughs> Good job, boys. I bet you that goes somewhere else. Well, though. Yeah. Your teams will start copying that <laughs> yeah. for sure. Well, it keeps them cool and I'm tough. Uncompromising battle. There's something special. These kinds of tournaments and these kinds of days. Tommy Anderson, one for the New Zealand team. He's a kid with some talent. And Sam Helling, 4 2 split on the kick chase. Cooper Flanders and Shea Clark in a one on one, and now Shea Clark down the right edge. Clark, a support runner coming on the inside. Howling pulls him down. Clark, big, tall athlete, trying to keep the ball away from the arms of the tackler. Now they shift towards the left edge. Hinyanga Norfolk coming back on the inside, offloads the ball in the tackle. What a start to the second half! Fiji Junior, Hinyanga Norfolk. For Tonga, 14-12 with the conversion to come. Well, they spoke about it being in the huddle. They believe they believe they can win this game and the start that they exactly wanted. Look at that high in the air by Shea Clark. Carrying the ball in one hand. You see, he knows players are coming, but he's going to stay strong. That's a nice chop tackle in defence from Sam Howling. But in the end, they get the quick recycle that they wanted. They were nice and spread. They kept their shape. Ball on the outside. Back-to-back -back tries. Tonga, now we've got a game. level of skill this is the sixth game both teams 14 all how about Shea Clark down that right edge AJ Baleafanga Height. Shay Clark is beaten in the air. Oh, then collects the ball after a loose pass from the New Zealand team. Now Nani Vai. Pinyang Anufo. AJ Faleafanga. Good tackle on him by Hotham. Another offload in the tackle. Release, leave for entry. Now the pick and go. Nani Vay. Chicago Doyle drags him down. Oh, ball knocked down. Offside. There you go. Finny Young on Northport. Both of them again with another important tackle. 
14 all. Oh, yeah, an unforced error. Chicago Doyle picks up the ball, tips it off. It's been turned over again. Oy. Oh, moments. Who can seize the moment in the big game? Man, there was some desperate defense here from New Zealand. A straight drop from Tonga. They pounce on it, dude. New Zealand straight away. Chicago Doyle with a nice pass out the back door, and the pass just a little bit behind. Anderson, that's in front. She is over. Match winner right there. Chicago Doyle. Plenty of X Factor out on the park. And free kick for Finyang and Norfolk. Nani Vai. Nice. Impatient with the ball. To pole. Finds a way to keep the ball alive. Big chance. Nani Vai. Fale Afanga. Finiang and Awful. Trying to get to the outside. Tangito's there in defense. They lock him up. Taylor Tangito's got him. Let's find a way. It's another tackle. Great job. Taylor Tangito started it. He's a noted attacker, but he comes up with a big defensive play to win a feed for his team. Yeah, Terence Graham involved. Noah Holton more so. You can see there. Tangi Tao, back-to-back effort plays there. That is good work, good stack, good turnover. Well, there's a hearty support to do there, flying eyes, the flag. Chicago Doyle. Oh, that's a pull from the Tonga. Oh, the referees fell for it. But immediately, Nani Vai. Out to the left edge, Nani Vai's footwork was exceptional, two metres out, no halfback, and the penalty. Entry, Timothy. Oi, that's a big call, seven plays six. Nani Vai lets the ball go. Tonga, boys, the, the New Zealand team come up with a big play. Riley Higgins this time in defence. You're not 10. Oh, Sinbin for being inside the 10. We're getting serious in the final now with these rules. Chicago Doyle, six on six. They keep the ball alive. Oh, unlucky. Doyle. Thinking about the right is Riley Higgins. Trying to commit two defenders, turns the ball back on the inside. Riley Higgins, a great play, and Cooper Flanders. Two dominant players in this New Zealand team today. A six on six situation. And what about Riley Higgins? Oh, really changed the landscape for this game. New Zealand under pressure here, they get the turnover. That is brilliant work over the top from Riley Higgins to try score to get the turnover. And he goes across field, delivers the late cut, time perfectly. And then Cooper Flanders finishes it off. To remind ourselves, these boys are just kids, you know all what, under Tina, 18, you know all still at school. But doesn't that give us great heart for the future? 21, 14 seconds left on the clock. And the best game of the day they saved for the final. The two best teams at the tournament this year. Good height on the ball, secured by Lakai. And last chance, Bonga, inside their own half. Nani Vai. Well, it's been that sort of a go. Oh, no, they've made an error. They've made an error. 
at the back end of the game and it's going to win mean that New Zealand will win the 2020 title there's plenty of emotion they will finish the tournament champions with a five and one record but KT they lost the Tonga earlier in the day hence the emotion we're seeing now oh they had to fight for everything in that final they got out to an early lead Tonga to their credit came back and evened it up but in the end New Zealand Condor boys were the ones that seized the moment and take the win in the final well in a year that has been severely challenging on many many fronts we hope that the our coverage today put a smile on the face of wherever you're watching here in New Zealand or around the world thrilling performance the captain Noah Hotham of the New Zealand team is with Taylor Curtis well Noah congratulations they didn't make it easy did they no nah, yeah Tonga real tough tough team they bit us in the pool once we had to come back strong and give it to them again what what made you dig deep and especially for your sixth game today Oh, it's just a brotherhood we've connected over last last week and so and just really connected and proved every game and came to this game with the goal and we came out with it. Well, congratulations. We're really proud of the boys. Yeah, really proud. Thank you. The Tongan, the Tongan team and the New Zealand team, they saved their best for last. The New Zealand team, 21-14 and the World School Champions for 2020. We're back with more after the break.